this week on Sailing Dippity. We celebrate my birthday with snorkeling, gifts, and gale force winds. Yay! We don't get to leave today, but I got a present from Damien. <laughs> so, we just went through some tough stuff, y'all. Widespread quite yet. Now, Sunday, 6 p.m. Public Storm Ada is happening outside right now. Pretty much, it's not quite here yet. I think right now it's actually like over Cuba, but we're definitely feeling the edges of it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and hit that notification bell. A special shout out to our patrons, Randy Moe and Maria Figueroa. Join us at patreon.com slash sailingdipity for early access to all of our adventures. Let the birthday shenanigans begin. Today, Damien has, well, we have had to like switch things around a little because um, the weather is a little crazy and it looks like we're going to deal with some gale force winds on my birthday. So, uh, or the night of my birthday, birthday night. So, we're gonna go snorkeling today instead of um, on my birthday because it'd be crazy. So, here we go to Peanut Island. Yay! We made it. We're here, Peanut Island. There's a ton of people here. They said it's Sunday, Monday. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna go over to these uh, rocks we see and go do a little bit of snorkeling. Boat dock, snorkeling reef, reef boardwalk. The great water ski. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we just drove by. But it's just this one? We're here now. Yeah, we passed through that. Yeah. And that was yeah, what like was inside. There, was like that cool yeah, let's go snorkel over there.
to leave today, but I got a present from Damien. Whoa, what did you tape this with? <laughs> Maggie's birthday was spent indoors, well anchored, but a bumpy ride as we sat in the exposed waters just south of Peanut Island. The next day the winds had died down enough for us to spend the night on land and celebrate with food, wine, and a night at the hotel. Cheers in the elevator! Bing. <laughs> so we're back, back on the boat after a little vacay. It's really windy here, so we're gonna go anchor somewhere else. Yep, just south of here a little bit, uh, right outside of uh, downtown West Palm Beach. Yep. <laughs> so here we go on a windy day under a bridge. After nine months of living on anchor unprotected, we finally understood what a protected anchorage was and set sail in search of one with the wind roaring again. A protected anchorage is one where land stands between you and the wind. For example, if there's wind coming from the east, find a place where there's land to your east and the depth is such that you can anchor close-ish to the shore. Downtown West Palm Beach has just the anchorage for us, so we mosey on over, thinking anchoring here will be a breeze. We just went through some tough stuff, y'all. So yeah, we just learned the hard way uh, that you want to dock always into the wind. Uh, yeah, we just came up from uh, change anchorages. We're in uh, Lake Worth here, just outside of West Palm Beach. We were like in like the middle of like Lake Worth, like the wide part, and it's just been really bumpy and stuff. Um, so yeah, we decided to move, try out just outside of West Palm Beach, which we scoped out from the land because uh, we just came from the hotel, and it looked all right. Mm -hmm, I liked it. Uh, like, oh, it looks so calm. Yeah. There's plenty of space. <laughs> that cat was here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's just a lot of current through here, and it's still windy. Uh, so yeah, we couldn't anchor. We tried anchoring a bunch of times, like wouldn't hold. Like there was just not enough room to leave out enough scope to be able to hold. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of gave up and decided to just use the day docks, which are open here until midnight. Uh, but yeah, we came from the wrong angle and just kind of slammed into the dock. Thankfully, did no damage. Um, don't think anyway. <laughs> Let's look in the daylight, but I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I don't know, it's stressful. Yep, so now we're gonna go for a walk and uh, just decompress since we can be here till midnight. Um, and then we're gonna go across the way and try it again because you know, if you don't, if you if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <sighs> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a breath. Go for a walk. I'm going to take a breath. He's pretty fine. <laughs> take a breath. Go for a walk. I think we're going to get a chocolate chip cookie. And then try it again. Yep. yep. The next couple of days were indeed a breeze. We played in the city and fell in love with the area. The food and people were feeling us and we were feeling them. However, soon enough we'd be feeling the wind. 
it was time to hunker down and prepare for 40 to 60 mile an hour winds. Widespread quite yet. Now, Sunday, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. This is the peak here. So, hey guys. Hi. We're in West Palm Beach. Uh, Tropical Storm Ada is happening outside right now. Pretty much, it's not quite here yet. I think right now it's actually like over Cuba, but we're definitely feeling the edges of it. Um, yeah. Yep. So this is going to be our first uh, tropical storm that we've ridden out on anchor, um, and the eye might actually hit us. We don't know yet. So um, yeah, we found a really cool anchorage. Is what happened. Mm -hmm. Um. We started down further uh, north. Yeah, it's a little north of here in, in Lake Worth. Right now, uh, I, I don't know if this second view is still Lake Worth, but we're just right outside of uh, downtown West Palm Beach right now. Mm -hmm. In between the two drawbridges, anybody that's familiar. Yep. Uh, but it was really choppy on the other side of these bridges, and we stayed there a couple of days, and we're like, wow, what are we going to do when it like really gets windy? So we got on Active Captain. Thing we did, and said, you know, I think there's another anchor in this shirt, and of course. Yep. Yeah, and it's uh, really good for the winds for this storm. Um, we're pretty protected from the east. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's really convenient close to downtown. So we're going to, yeah, chill here. Yeah. Um, and we're all anchored in. We've been, you know, solid for a couple of days now. Yeah, definitely good holding. Uh, yesterday I just put out some more scope and put some numbers on, which I'm just going to do all the time now, but it makes it a lot smoother. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been staying up at night, checking our position. Nah. Um, but yeah, you can tell we probably are a little sleepless, uh, because it's some really big gusts that we've not endured before, so, uh, we're just finding it out, thought we'd give you an update. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right here, uh, holding each other to the <laughs> gusts. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if you want to get closer to your partner, buy a cell phone. And we want to anchor. Yeah. I love you. wind blew through our rigging, sending out the sound of a lovely stringed instrument. The waves were hardly an issue and we felt confident we would get through it. Just before the sun set, we realized that our batteries had died. There was no way to turn on the engine if we drugged during the night, and towboat wasn't coming until the storm was over the next morning. Quickly, we came up with a plan. If we were dragging anchor, we'd get out our backup anchor and deploy it and let out some more line on our primary anchor. Wine, snacks, and banana grams ruled the night and kept us calm until... Hey, Damien. Yeah, what's up? My phone's about to die. Oh, no. Join us on our next adventure and find out if we made it through the storm unscathed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.